welcome to the Oregon coast. Rough and rocky, volcanic activity and giant earthquakes created the Oregon coast millions of years ago. The coast is a marvelous place with majesty, power, fascinating creatures, and waves. Lots and lots of waves. The beauty of the Oregon coast is tempered by those waves, and occasionally they can... Hey, announcer, you're snoozing out the viewer. I'll take it from here. I'm Alfonso Neptune. My crew and I ply the waves on my boat. She's queen of the sea. That makes me king of the sea. King Neptune, get it? King is a lot easier to say than Alfonso, and it seems to get me preferred moorage at any dock on the coast. Anyway, we're here to talk about the waves, and there are some things you need to know. These waves can hypnotize you as they roll in endlessly on a calm day. They settle you down when stressed. I love waves. Everybody loves waves. But they can make you sick if you spend too much time on some rolly ones. And what most people don't realize is they can kill you if you don't pay attention. Have you ever heard of a sneaker wave? It's a big wave that can come out of nowhere and suddenly, bam. It can smack you and drag you out to sea. It has enough power to pick up big honking logs and roll them on top of you. If you turn your back on the ocean, the ocean can ruin your day. Let's get in touch with your inner beachcomber, shall we? If you can pass this little test, you'll always have a good day at the beach. When should you watch for sneaker waves? A, when you see a kite go by, followed by the kite's owner. B, you hear the lady singing. or C, anytime you're near the ocean? Of course the answer is C. Sneaker waves are just that. They can sneak up on you in any weather. And whether or not the sea is calm or all roiled up, us old salts are old salts because we never turn our backs on the ocean. Okay, here's another. What is the Cascadia subduction zone? A, a city block in Portland with that famous lady statue on it, B, a place up on Mount Hood where you can plug in your electric car or iPhone, or C, an earthquake-prone area just off the Oregon coast. Yep, correct answer is C again. The Cascadia subduction zone is a fault line or a crack in the Earth's crust where two tectonic plates rub together. One plate is slipping under the other and every few decades pressure builds up and it jerks. When it jerks, the Earth quakes on the ocean floor and that can cause a tsunami. And what is a tsunami? A, a great old 30s song made famous by Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. You say tsunami. And I say tsunami. B, a new sandwich created by a popular coastal restaurant. The new tuna tsunami. Or C, a series of dangerous waves that can last up to 24 hours or longer. You all know where this is going now, don't you? The scientific geeks all agree that we could have a big time earthquake here in the Pacific Ocean sometime in the next few decades. Could be 50 years from now, but could be tomorrow. Any beachcomber worth his salt needs to know how to deal with a tsunami if one hits the Oregon coast. We can be on the receiving end of two kinds of tsunamis. A local tsunami is the only real scary issue. If the Cascadia subduction zone does the big slip, you're going to feel the ground shake. Get out of the way! Get under the table! If you do, drop, cover, and hold on. As soon as the ground stops shaking, go. Get moving. Grab the family and nothing else. Head away from the ocean and uphill. Now. That big wave could hit the Oregon coast in minutes. The ground shaking will be the only warning you have. So remember, drop, cover, and hold on. 
when the quake's over, get moving uphill fast. A distant tsunami is caused by an undersea event far away, like the one in Japan a couple years ago. If that happens, you should have around four hours to get to higher ground. Shouldn't be a problem if you're paying attention at all. There will be warnings everywhere. Local people and officials will know where the evacuation routes are. And hotels and vacation rentals should have information for you. As I said before, never turn your back on the ocean. Never mess around with logs on the beach. And if you feel the ground shaking, get to higher ground right away. So that's the official stuff. Now, get out on the beach, charter a boat, eat some crab. Welcome to the Oregon coast, official beachcomber. Hey, you're looking a little crabby. I can fix that. Take this crab pot.